Greetings from Washington, D.C. It's Peter Thomas, the General Counsel of NAAOP. Wanted to bring everyone up to date on prior authorization. Prior authorization is an issue that uh, CMS regulated about three or four years ago and applied it to certain orthotic and prosthetic uh, HICSPIX L codes. They basically said that uh, not only did they uh, have the ability and the right to impose prior authorization on certain codes that they identified as potentially subject to overutilization or fraud and abuse, but they said that they could amend those code sets uh, through regulation uh, on a yearly basis if they determined that additional OIG or other types of government reports implicated uh, additional uh, L codes for potential prior authorization. Even though they did that and they expanded the list of codes uh, recently, CMS had not rolled out a prior authorization on any orthotics and prosthetics until now. February 11th, uh, CMS announced uh, that they will be uh, subjecting six HICSPICS codes to prior authorization starting on May 11th. The six codes uh, involve microprocessor uh, prostheses, they involve uh, L5850. 56, 57, and 58, and then L5973, 5980, and 5987. In May, uh, CMS will roll out these codes uh, or this prior authorization process. They will be issuing additional guidance as well. Uh, they'll start in four states, uh, California, Florida, I'm sorry, California, uh, Texas, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Uh, then on October uh, uh, 11th, uh, they will then expand that number uh, nationwide. They'll expand prior authorization for the six codes nationwide. So this is a, obviously a mixed bag, and I say a mixed bag because NAOP and the OMP Alliance has been on record as opposing prior authorization for orthotics and prosthetics because we feel that it treats ONP more like durable medical equipment and less like the clinical and um, service-oriented profession that orthotics and prosthetics really is. Um, having said that, prior authorization has been implemented with respect to certain prior, uh, certain power wheelchairs in prior years. And I must tell you that uh, prior authorization does not take place in a vacuum. Uh, compared to the process that many uh, wheelchair suppliers were going through where they would uh, go through the process of selecting a power wheelchair, uh, fitting that patient to the power wheelchair, delivering the power wheelchair, only to have that, uh, that bill either denied or recouped and then being placed on a four or five year uh, queue just to get an administrative law judge hearing. You know, that was no picnic. And <clears throat> prior authorization, uh, ultimately, in the view of many in the power wheelchair industry, <clears throat> they felt that prior authorization had some benefits. In fact, they've actually quite welcomed prior authorization now in more recent years. So we're going to have to decide exactly uh, how this plays out with respect to orthotics and prosthetics. There are clearly uh, concerns about timely access to care, possible denials of care as a result, uh, and we'll monitor the situation very closely. We've been in touch with CMS and we're expecting additional guidance soon. It's interesting because the, uh, as this announcement was occurring, the President's budget was also released, and the President's budget um, calls for an expansion of prior authorization to other services uh, well beyond uh, durable medical equipment, prosthetics, orthotics, and supplies. Uh, the budget um, suggests that prior authorization should be used with any service that is subject to overutilization, and it cites as a potential area under the fee-for-service program inpatient rehabilitation hospital care. Uh, to make matters even more confusing, uh, CMS Administrator Seema Verma uh, spoke this week at the American Medical Association and uh, basically said that, the, that prior authorization under Medicare is indefensible. It has been indefensible for several years. It frustrates doctors and patients and that she was going to do everything she could to uh, make sure this year that prior authorization is reformed or eliminated in as many instances as they could possibly can. This is, sounds a completely discordant tone. It's completely inconsistent from what the administration has put forward uh, all in the same week. Uh, and it just muddles uh, the whole situation and makes it quite confusing going forward. And AOP will continue to monitor the situation and report back to its membership. We look forward to seeing you in Chicago uh, for the Academy meeting. Thank you very much.